Hi everyone, welcome on board. Today we're on a Fury 32 called Big Cat. The Fury 32s are uh, synonymous with West Australian boating. They're a beautiful 32 foot hull. Uh, today we're looking on board a repower that we've done with the FPT NEF 280 marine engine. Fury 32s, for those of you who do know the vessels, they are a rear mounted engine about faced, so the front of the engine actually faces the stern of the vessel, and they are run through a remote V drive gearbox which then has the shaft from underneath the saloon down. Uh, we're currently on the hard stand here at Swan Yacht Club, I'm um, just having a look at this vessel now and the engine before we are due to launch it uh, next week, so I just wanted to give you a quick look around the NEF 280. Uh, the engine that came out of this vessel was a low horsepower Caterpillar 3208 engine. Um, so it's allowed us a lot more room in the engine room uh, with an F280. We stuck with similar horsepower, so it was a very low horsepower cat, and so we put in the F280. So this won't be a fast boat, but it's going to be a very comfortable cruising uh, vessel. Let me show you around it. So as I said, you can see that the NEF 280 faces rearwards in this particular vessel. <clears throat> the NEF 280, 280 horsepower at 2800 RPM, is NEF's <clears throat> is Fiat's mechanical fuel injected engine. It's the largest horsepower in mechanical injection that Fiat offer before progressing to the common rail fuel injection. <clears throat> you can note the six individual injectors across the top here. The individual rocker covers also give it away as being a mechanical variant. This is the 6.7 litre displacement engine, which is the same as our NEF 450 and 570. So at 280 horsepower, it is very, very comfortable. Uh, here, as we said, about faced, this is a very nice and simple installation. Rigid mounted, picking up the existing beds, has allowed for a very cost effective um, repower. So you can see there's been very little variation that's had to happen from the existing mounts that were in here for the Caterpillar. Uh, we converted this engine from, 20, from 12 to 24 volt to allow the existing ele uh, vessel electrics to be reused uh, nice and easily. You can see the existing gearbox in there, which I presume without certainty should be a twin disc MG502. You can see we have a short shaft here, which connects on, which is reusing the old one, which is an SA3. Um, bell housing which isn't used there and it's 11 and a half inch flywheel which is the same as the caterpillar which allows for a very very easy installation and reuse of of the gearbox the gearbox really is the limiting factor uh, in this repower and hence why we have stuck with a relatively low horsepower setting uh, down here you can see we have the sea strainer which runs in just underneath the side there mechanical fuel injection it's therefore mechanical injection pump tucked down the side here and that's why we're running with the Morse cables. You can see a nice and easily accessible seawater pump uh, just tucked down there. Again, your rigid mounts on this particular side of the vessel here. Hot water system is utilised. In most cases, we try and supply the connection points. So we pick up out of the cylinder head there and also down and under one of the coolant pipes here to allow the existing hot water system, which is further forward in this saloon, uh, to be reused. We have no power steering coming off the front, so this is a very accessible engine room here uh, at the front of the motor. As we look further back, you can see rearward facing that the exhaust uh, points to the bow of the vessel, so we have a 180 degree bend that's been put in, and straight exhaust pipe on this, and straight around to the back of the vessel. These aren't a particularly noisy engine, so it still will be very comfortable during operation. As we come up, then F280 being mechanical also have an analog control panel and that's the panel provided showing oil pressure, water temperature, battery voltage, RPM and a set of alarms in the event of any issue occurring. We're looking forward to this particular vessel going in the water shortly and uh, we'll show you some videos during sea trial and uh, how the vessel performs. Thanks for watching, this is the FPT NEF 280 marine engine.